going to do a little work on the geothermal system today. Now, for those of you that don't know, I have about 480 feet of four inch thin wall pipe in three rows going all the way from into the ravine, all the way up to the tiny house. And in theory, it should help cool the house off when it's very cloudy out, since the fan only uses 45 watts and moves 400 cubic feet of air. They recommend you have like a 1.2 uh, CFM per square foot of house. And since my house is 360 square foot, 400 CFM should be enough to well ventilate our house and cool our house. In, in theory. We're gonna find out. Now, the thermometer on this thing sits right here on this elbow, and it's telling us the temperature coming right up out of the ground, but I think our biggest problem is we're having some loss, some heat gain in this aluminum pipe here. So we're going to change it out to this insulated one. And also, while I got it apart, I'm going to flush it out with water so it's all nice and clean. Make sure no critters got up in it. Okay, I've got the old tube off. I used a lot of tape. I've got the new insulated pipe, or tubing, or... Got the new insulated ducting. I'm going to put it in. I'm running the fan backwards right now because I still got a lot of water in the geothermal system. I'm trying to push this warm, dry, beautiful air out through the geothermal. Just kind of more or less dry it out and get it ready to go. But my puppies miss me, so I'm going to sit in with them. I'm going to have a spot of lunch. It's been a busy day and I haven't done anything yet. All right. There we go. Got the fan mounted. Got the pipe working in. I don't like this droop. We'll have to put something there to support it. Well, let's go check on our temperature. Looks like it's pumping in about 54 degrees. Let's verify that. It feels cold. Okay, I'd say about 58 degrees, but we still don't have the rest of it covered, so. And it's about this hot outside, so. We'll see how she does. I'll keep you guys informed. Bye.